watch your new show cause it's very sublime I'm so excited cause it really is time for 9 at 9 9, 9, 9, 9, 9 So tell us what's new, now let me throw you a cue It's 9 at 9 all right. All right. Number nine, according to some relationship scientists, it's okay if you're seeing someone else, as long as that someone is your therapist. Oh. A new 2022 study from the dating app Hinge uh, says 91 percent of users want to date someone who goes to therapy. Oh. And 89 percent of daters are more likely to agree to a second date if the person mentions therapy on the first date. Hinge users say they want to date someone who prioritizes mental health because that can lead to stronger and healthier relationships. But does that always come up on the first date? Apparently. Yeah. It if you want more there like to be a third second. date information, yeah. doesn't it? But I don't know. It's what do <laughs> well, I know? Well, yeah. People move quicker these days. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 That's yeah. It. Number eight, uh, here's a bike for Robin. As seen on Shark Tank, the new electric cargo bike collection from a company called Bunch. Stick your dogs in the giant cargo holder or your kids or your stuff and go on about your day. Wow. Keep in mind these are electric, so you pedal just a bit and then the bike moves fast using the charge. There are a bunch ambassadors right here in Chicago who will answer questions and give you the chance to take a bike out for a test run. They're five grand each. Oh Ooh. my God! You get 35 miles to a charge, and they generally go about 10 miles an hour. Mm. Wow! <laughs> All right, number seven. Uh, we were talking about taxidermy yesterday, and here's a fun Whoa. way to keep my. that going. A look at bad taxidermy. <laughs> Oh dear. Uh, you can find more at uh, the website Bad Taxidermy and Crappy Taxidermy. Oh no. Oh. And you never know, some of these may have looked a little rough going in, right? <laughs> Come on. <Right. laughs> it's like a, it's a bear out of cane. Hey, yeah. how you doing? Sometimes it's tricky to get it exactly right. Those yeah. eyeballs could be tricky. Eyeballs are the hardest part. Owls are tough. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Sir. Right, it's like high school wow. yearbook pictures here. Oh boy. What is that? Oh, that's a cold. It's a squirrel, I guess. I... Now that's oh, fun that's, right that's there, lovely. right? That's how you do it. Something the kids can put in their oh, bedrooms. Oh, what is that? It's uh, troubling. Uh, oh, that's fun. Oh, all right, number six. If you have mild back pain, this acupressure mat could be the thing for you. Some people swear by it, others call it torture. Huh. The torture mm -hmm. mat. In a good way, though. It's covered in tiny rubber spikes that are very hard and pointy. You're supposed mm. to lie on it for 20 minutes at a time. Okay. The spikes are supposed to increase blood flow to the uh, area, and that sure could reduce do. inflammation and help people relax. A recent study on people in the hospital backs it up. It was in the Journal of Alternative and Compli Complementary Medicine. Oh, yeah, it's when you mm. compliment people. Yeah. <laughs> Over 500 treatments with the mat were analyzed, and 75% of the participants reported a decrease in pain and overall anxiety. Mm -hmm. What do you know? Hmm. Uh, number five, you smell that? It's bacon scented wrapping paper. Oh. Remember those scratch and stiff stickers, you, yeah. stickers you loved when you were a kid? It's like that, only it's better because it's A, bacon. And B, it's bacon. Yeah. Here's uh. another offering from the Manly Man Company. Though, let's be fair, women love their bacon as much as men do. So, so pick some up for Mother's Day. It's got a bunch of five star reviews, but the best one says it's great, but toss it away once you're done with it because the scent just, well, it lingers for a while. Yeah. <laughs> she can bring home the bacon and fry it in the pan. Number four, looking for a side hustle, why not become the next king or queen of peel? It's located in Northwest England on a 50 acre island with more seals than actual humans. Oh. This 14th century castle was once used by monks to guard against Scottish pirates, and it comes with a 300 year old pub. 
The city council is looking for someone to run it all. The title would be King or Queen of Peel. It comes with a 10 year lease to the castle and all the beer you can drink. Wow, what's the downside? Well, there right. will be an official coronation ceremony in April. The chosen king or queen will be showered with buckets of suds while wearing a rusty helmet and holding an ancient sword. I feel like there's something. Mm. We're, we're not. Catch. Th there's a catch. Yeah. Is it is it tough to get to? Maybe you can only ride your bicycle to get there? Yeah. yeah. There's a lot of seals. Yeah. Mm. But yeah, still. if you need an ambulance, you're probably in big trouble. Uh, there's some trade offs, though. Little yeah. Bre no windows, maybe? Yeah. It's just I haven't a used an crazy. ambulance in 20 years. Yeah. <laughs> Not needed that often. All right. Uh, all right, number three. Sure, it's a cold day in January, but it's never too early to start thinking ahead to the first Saturday in May, the Kentucky Derby. And no Derby Day would be complete without that perfect hat. You don't have to be in the stands at Churchill Downs to make a statement. You can wear it in your living room or in the local off-track uh, bedding place. It doesn't matter. A good derby hat should command attention and have everyone talking, so don't be afraid to go really big for it this year. And don't forget about the whimsy. Just look at that. Mm. You guys ever been to the Kentucky Derby? No. 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 Nobody here. Wouldn't mind. Mm. Yeah, I could take it or leave it. Yeah, me too. Yeah. And I don't want to get all dressed up, try yeah. to find a hat. A lot hat. of frat boys in seersucker suits. It's, yeah. you know. Ah. The worst. <laughs> yeah. There's sure. horse racing, though. Yeah, but that goes by really it's quick. It's a minute. It's right? over. It's just so over. Okay. <laughs> My bad. Why would you want to do anything fun? Yep. See, now you guys are getting too much like me. Yep. No, yeah. I was in. Yeah, all right. Number two, we're just sharing this because it's a funny picture that science geeks grew up in the 90s are sharing. It's taken from the prehistoric zoo books. That's a series that discusses how the early prehistoric reptiles developed and adapted for survival. The caption says, just think of what might have happened if our first fish out of the water had crawled out on six fins. Uh. Whimsical. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, all right, number one, it's another classic news promo. This right. is from uh, 1987. This is from my old station in, in Buffalo, WKBW. Oh, this was uh, the legendary Irv Weinstein. This is the Eyewitness News Wrap. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> They've been the best in the business for a very long time. I've been watching them myself since I was only nine. They're the longest running anchor team in history. They're the only news team I want on my TV. Oh, my boy. name is Tom Jones, but you can call me CT. When you want to know the weather, you can count on me. I do it outside because that's where it's at. My rap is finished, so Rick's up to bat. Oh boy. My name is Azar, that's Rick for short. I got the inside track on every sport. I tell it like it is, the way you deserve. So does this man, our main man, her. Oh. Listen, party people, and don't be late. You'll always get the scoop, I give it to you straight. I'll give you the news that you need to know on Western New York's number one news show. Oh, wow. Wow. You see me with Irv, I'm Mary McCombs. I love bringing the news into your homes. You know your health is a concern of mine. My health watch reports will make you feel just fine. Oh, wow. Well, that's the eyewitness news team, and this is their story. It's a news tradition, it's a tale of glory. Watch them every night to let you know what's happening. Eyewitness news is the best, that's the point of all this rapping. This is pretty much the worst video that ever made. That guy was a god in Buffalo, by the way. <laughs> wow. Yeah. That just, I couldn't look away. Yeah, yeah. Was compelling. <laughs> that was amazing. I thought for a minute there, they weren't going to let that lady be a part of yeah. this rap. Well, they didn't <laughs> no. let her on the show that much, but. <laughs> oh, my oh, yeah. god. That was fantastic. Like, that was like before their time, right? Like, yeah. you didn't get into the kind of that self-indulgent kind of rap, you know, self-promotion stuff. Why is it all the late 80s, like, spoof raps all sound like the Super Bowl shuffle? Yeah, yeah, yeah. they all Don't do, they? Yeah. yeah. Boy, that was oh. amazing. Yeah, you're welcome. And they got all of them in on it. Not Another one of one them tomorrow. said, you know what, I'm a news guy, count me out, I'm not going to get into this. Yeah. They're Did like, Skilling yeah, ever get into the rap phase here back yeah, in the late know. 80s? I, I don't know. Hey, we got him to Come put on, on a lab team. coat and shag yeah. five balls, right? I got like, him in drag at one point <laughs> out here. Wow, that was uh, amazing. Boy, that, that's was, a nine and nine. I don't know what I just Titty saw. Kaka. It's nine and nine. nine.